Hey guys, what is up? Iron Reaper 92 and today in this tutorial video, I'm going to tell you guys how to earn the most money that you can earn um in Ranch Simulator. Now, this isn't going to be early game, but you can do this fairly early game. The best money maker in this game is dairy cows. There's a lot of people that run meat farms um but minute for minute the amount of work that you're going to be doing you're going to make more money making blue cheese or white cheese or hell just even making regular cheese than you're going to be making raising and killing slaughtering animals especially since um before an animal is ready for slaughter it takes like anywhere from 5 to 12 game days and it just it takes forever you are effectively getting money every day from dairy farming. It is so much better. It's funner. You don't have to constantly be worrying about buying new livestock you, unless, you know, you accidentally forget to feed them. But um, it's a lot more simple. And we've tested it against farming meat, and it's actually more profitable too. So I'll just show you guys real quick um, my little setup, if the cow will let me. But... I went ahead and I built a custom building for this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a lot of um, a lot of cheese bins, whole lot of cheese bins. It still doesn't. It's still not big enough for nine cows. The nine cows that we have. So the way we've done this is we'll separate our cows three to a room. We've got our food and water trough. We've got our Automatic milking machine, three cows. This way we don't get the cows mixed up while we're trying to milk them. It makes things really, really easy for us. In the next room, we've got pretty much the same thing. Three cows, same thing. And we have one more on the other side. You guys are more than welcome to copy this design if you want, however you want. It really doesn't matter. This is the best and easiest design that we have found for ourselves. Uh, dairy farming. You could also do four or five animals, whatever. You can do whatever you want. It's just we've noticed that, well, whenever we do uh, three per room, it makes it really easy because you can keep track of which ones you've milked. So we have nine cows split up into three different rooms. And it just makes things so much easier for us. So each cow is going to give you a third of a milk pail, which you can then take. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to milk all my cows today. And once you've got your milk you're going to want to be able to cook this milk into curd and then make that curd into cheese. So you're either going to need a house with a stove or you can buy these little portable cookers from the store and pots. And you can put them anywhere. We put them on top of our uh, cheese preserving bins. I mean, you can put them anywhere. You can put this on the floor. Take it, throw it in there, add it. And then you can optionally add a couple of other things too. You can cook it as curd or... You can also add eggs. And you can also add cheese mold. Now, there's two different types of cheese mold for cows. Please do not buy the white goat cheese mold. Make sure it says cow. I've done that a few times. Get you some cheese mold and throw in there, too. And all that's going to do is it costs money, but it adds to the value of the final product, which is very nice. So you're spending money to make money. Very nice. And there's, there's a little glitch sometimes where you have to pick it up and put it back down because it won't let you cook. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and fill all these up real quick. Just wanted to show you guys how to do that. Now, once you get cheese out, whoops, like what just happened there, uh, you're going to need a cheese fermenting bin like we've got here. You just set them in there, and they ferment. It takes them a while. When they're done, you take them out, and preferably you'll put them into uh, a cooler. Now, you can stack them on the ground, but we, we prefer coolers because it's just so much easier. And the payout for this is insane. We pulled in $25,000 uh, from two days of dairy farming with nine cows the other day. We were able to basically get whatever we want. We still have $7,000. Uh, my wife and myself both went out and spent over $10,000 on a horse from two game days worth of work. So this is a lot better than meat farming. So unless meat farming is your thing and you just think it's fun, I, I would highly recommend dairy farming. It is just so much better. Um, and I really don't like butchering the animals anyways because I just don't like the idea of butchering animals. So I like that you can actually make more money doing this. 
Well, that's probably pretty much it. The only other thing I could do is show you guys where to sell it, but if you're watching this video, you probably might not know that, actually, so maybe I should show you that real quick. So, we've got, you know, the big van, whatever. You can just load your stuff up in there and take it down to town. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys where the shop is real quick. If anybody else already knows, you can go ahead and just leave now. It's all good. Not wanting to upset anybody who already knows. But for players that don't know, I'll show you guys where to sell the cheese at once you uh, once you have it. Because you're definitely not going to want to sell it back to the general store just so you guys know. You can, but you're not going to make money. Like, you're going to lose a lot of money selling stuff back to the general store. So over here, there is this little restaurant, right? And... Well, I've got a I've got a volunteer right here, real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and just skin this guy, and I will show you guys. I'm gonna sell McDonald's some roadkill real quick. So we're gonna pick up this what's left of this deer. There should be a lot more meat from from a deer that size. Just saying. We're gonna put it right here. So you drive your vehicle over this. Anything that's within this little area right here. That's going to be able to get sold. Now, they also have deals every day. They've got uh, sales that go on where you can make more money. Right now, milk. You can get two times for milk, chicken, meatballs, and wild meat. Oh, boy, we're selling wild meat. So you just come in here, and uh, you don't order a burger. You go over here to this terminal, and they'll take all three pieces of Bambi that I just found on the side of the road for 90 bucks. So I'm going to hit sell all. They take the meat. I get my money, and Bambi's gone. That's how you do that. Don't sell your stuff back to the general store. You won't make any money. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that horrible stuff that I hate asking for because all the other YouTubers do it, and it's just annoying. It's kind of a given. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.